Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Whoopi speaking. See Whoopi Kikos, and I present you my new reactor now. It is uh, this reactor is completely insulated, so I can uh, touch it. It is almost uh, nothing outside. Very very light uh, heat uh, outside, so very small loss. Some uh, rep loss at the top here of the of the reactor, but I wanted to make a test on this. So now I am making a test, so I have about here the beginning uh, weight, okay, it is about 712 uh, grams. I have begun now the, since one minute, okay, it is a second test I don't do here. You see the current, this current is taken with my voltmeter with very short leads, you see on the output of my Tesla coil. The Tesla coil, in the middle we have a small uh, sensing coil to see what happens in the, the burst of plasma. I will increase to, to... As you can see, I will stop the... Okay, you see the kind of, of burst of plasma difficult to get something but you see it anyway okay okay now you can see inside the reactor the reaction is very nice it is always violet because it is K2CO3 okay, toujours du carbonate de potasse 5K2CO3 dans ce réacteur vraiment très bien isolé cette fois je suis assez content de moi on a une puissante vapeur qui sort ça pulse là so the tests, I can't make the tests on 20 minutes, make the test on 20 minutes, but only 15 because there is a lot of water getting out. As you can see here, it is 99, yeah, it is about 100 uh, volts, RMS, true RMS. Remember my, uh, my voltmeter is a true RMS. Okay. And now I have to check here the standard uh, which seems to show more amps than this one. This is perhaps the only problem I can have, but as I take it as a, across the, the coil, which is exactly one ohm resistor. It is exactly one ohm de resistance on the bobine here, uh, Tesla. So it should be quite just, that also. And maybe that one is a little bit more sensitive, I don't know. Perhaps this one is not so sensible. Okay, but I, got, I get very good result. In the first uh, uh, test I have made today, at the power of 100 and volts, 100 volts. Okay, you can see here the weight at the beginning was 712 and a half. The time in minutes was 15. The weight at the end was. 690 and, and a half grams so the vaporized vapor was 22 grams and as we know if you multiply the vaporized about and with uh, uh, degrees celsius when it is in vapor you multiply by this value here and you get the joules that is the output power if i don't do uh, mistakes okay and for the input now, during the 15 minutes, 900 seconds, the voltage was 100 volt in average. The amperage was 30 C, uh, 0 0.345 amps or 345 mean of average. So we can calculate like this, 34.5 watts times 900 seconds give you this value. So you see, seems to be that we have more output than input, but <laughs> uh, I'd probably make a mistake somewhere, or perhaps not. Okay, now we are doing this new test. I am now at five minutes. It's very good. You see, it is very difficult to get uh, the, the amps. You see, it is sometimes goes to 31, sometimes to 38. Difficult, so I, I think it is 34, 35 
Ems uh, uh, 0.34 or 35 amps. Okay. Now we have to check uh, the, the level of the water inside the reactor. You see the reaction is fantastic. Violet. Okay. Now it's just something. If now I put uh, a hose from this outside here, direct in the water inside, so the water will be co condensed. I will get uh, bubbling, and this bubbling is HHO, which is uh, exploding very strong. So in this vapor, there is vapor, and mixed with HHO. It is yeah, it is. Uh, hmm. When here it is hot, yes, not too much here. Okay. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Merci de regarder. À bientôt. Merci. Au revoir.